Anything you can tell me about this hack? Chang will know more than me. I just told him something strange was going on. Utility statements being accessed, incomplete information on orders, that kind of thing. The kind of thing that's easy to miss. Surprised you noticed it. When you have been doing this as long as me, you start to question every little thing. Plus, that old lady kept coming around. Old lady? Chatty thing. I thought she was just lonely, until I caught her staring at the terminal when my back was turned. Did you confront her about it? I told Chang. Asked him to put a field agent on it. Field agent? We both know the deal, Jensen. There are two types of agents in this office. The ones who do the footwork and work the leads, and the ones who analyze them. And you think Chang's one of those? I think Chang lives in his head too much. He is good. He's very good. But it is also good that the task force brought in a new psychologist this month. Well, I'd better get going. I'll let you know if I find anything. Do not tell me. Tell Chang. I have a cover to keep. I'm glad you were not hurt in the bombing yesterday, Agent Jensen. The task force needs good men like you. Thanks, Sedlak. Take care. Make the best of it, he says. What a joke. That's quite a look.
an almost astronomical number of attempts. Between you and me, I think they are just wasting their time. This is Eliza Cassell, reporting to you live. I guess there is no more to say. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? How if I know? This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different.
Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be on to him. Then it's time for him to use the orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, 
Joseph. I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And go. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can, and I'll contact you with a location. Adam, what are you doing in here? I need to speak with Director Miller about my investigation. Thought maybe he was in the NSN. You? Same. Only just leaving him a message. It's about Vince Black, our organized crime division head. I'm worried. I was hoping maybe the Director had heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure, I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well then, maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. 
Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Leon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office. So, unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Mandeli? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Is there anything in Black's psyche valve that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take? I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. Sure. I'll let you know if I find out anything about Black. Thanks. Hopefully it turns out to be nothing.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. called him to consult at the Palisade Bank last week. I've managed to track Venture all the way to the Repertory Cinema yesterday. The camera has been shown going out. There must have been another exit. The Restoration Act will achieve. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
honest and insightful perspective. You got a bad feeling about this. This is Eliza Casella, reporting to you live from Pycus. I fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. And now for Trace program initiated. Anomaly detected. Trace program initial access granted. Devara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. It's all about keeping your concentration. We have another one. On the floor directly above. Could be anyone, really.
jsi tady nové? Mohla bych ti ukázat ty nejkrásnější místa. stuff or the rough stuff, you get some street walk. I'd love to see the way the two arrows come together from above. Be right back. The divers in Nepal, they slept on the roof one night. It's gorgeous. It would be great Mother if this building had something like that. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobramila. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry. I have made a mistake. I'm uh, waiting for someone. I know about your meeting. And I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is. I know what he does. And I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. 
That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was while I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not Diwali. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We're both shot. What kind of trouble are you in exactly? Vince wanted me to sell information about my husband's operation. The list to run that... It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. We'll see each other soon, I promise. Keep walking. Whiskey, all right? You want to drink? See the bartender. You want anything else? You know what to do. Larry, you there? What is it, Adam? Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some Diwali op. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick up his trail. Let's hope he's all right. Officer. One moment. Transmitting ID scan. Got it. Everything checks out. You're free to go. In the sewers.
worthy, like I am not a citizen here. Good evening, sir. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. The police are moving me on. I get that a lot, too. You work for the Santo Group? Yes, I am a vocational representative. Police only. Sir, I suppose you have heard about Rabia? Any interest in starting a new life there? Living in a city where the choices you made to become augmented are respected? What would you say? I'd say that I'd just come out of the Udalek complex. Wasn't that Santo's last better future for the augmented? That was supposed to be a temporary housing solution for transient workers. But after the incident, the Czech government had other ideas. And Santo washed its hands of the place. No, our hands were tied. Because of how we did business, contracting to government. Santo does things differently now. Thanks to Mr. Brown. I'm surprised to see a corporate CEO openly supporting Augs like Nathaniel Brown has. Mr. Brown is a, how do you say, disruptive innovator. We can't just rebuild after what happened. That has not worked. We have to start over. I'm sure it helps if your company is the only option for thousands of augmented construction workers. The world has lost sight of augmented potential, but to construct, staff, and settle a zero footprint, fully self-sufficient arcology? It's not only Mr. Brown's solution for the augmented, it's his solution for the future of cities. So exactly how is Rubia different? We used to build cities for government and middlemen. Now we build them for the people. Rabia is a sovereign state, 3D printed on site for its citizens. Not just a city for the augmented, an augmented city. The sales pitch was a little different before the incident. More talk about luxury, less about augmentation. That was before Mr. Brown bought back the contract from the government of Oman. The world changed, and we changed with it. Now we own the city, the land, and the message it sends to the world. Everything. If Brown has it all figured out, maybe I'll see you again in this future of yours. There is no future for us out here. I know that much. I have a permit. It's not like they did not... Look, madam, your papers state right here that you are currently restricted to the Prikashka district. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through. But I can't get the best oranges in my area. That, that is why they put this restriction on me, streets. because I like to go... Please, I'm trying to reason with these men. Fine. Why did you think the streets were empty? Oh, well, now you do. Don't move. All I did was... I said don't move. The ignorance is no excuse. Put your hands behind your back. The only thing you see from now on... for us to talk here. Finally, together.
we could make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Horse. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting... I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Or do you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Vlesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. What else do I need to know about your husband? Vlesta is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... This monster. I want him to test failure, to have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. All right, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I have agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. This should be enough to get you out of here. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for.
Tavara, that Diwali Opvitz was digging into, I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Ah, uh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you came by it how exactly? The informant Vince was supposed to meet. to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Have your permit ready. I have the permit. It's not like they did not... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. 
I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... he's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Blast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Gollum was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lasta finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Devni Opfut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me about your dealings with him? You pay these cops in Golem a lot of money and they get you to Vince's apartment. Then you pay Vince. Then Blaster comes to pick up the cargo, so then you pay Blaster. Blaster and Vince, they had some kind of fight about money, about the location of this place. Blaster's men blindfolded me and brought me here and told me to wait. It's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is that come I on, won't be on, on any of them. In the truck. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you?
I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. I don't like surprises. When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down, sell them for parts. You're going to get Ollie V where she needs to go. Otherwise, I'm taking it all apart. You and your operation. This is how you plan to ensure her safety? By starting a fight you can't win? The funny thing is, if you had just stayed home, your friend would have been fine. Not anymore. Bam!
I'd rather go see the bloom exhibit instead of some girl, one, one. Ah. Not much going on. Make a note of that.